Foreign news now. The Russian capital brought in its strictest COVID-19 related lockdown measures on more than a year ago on Thursday as nationwide one-day pandemic deaths and infections hit new highs and amid slow vaccination take-up across the world's biggest country. Moscow's partial lockdown, in which only essential shops like pharmacies and supermarkets are allowed to remain open and schools and state in kindergartens are shut, comes ahead of a week-long nationwide workplace shutdown from October the 30th. Like Moscow, as some regions decided to kick off their partial lockdowns on Thursday or even earlier in an effort to cut infection numbers ahead of the nationwide initiative. Moscow's residents are allowed to leave their homes, unlike our sweeping lockdown in summer 2020. But the new measures point to rising concern among officials over record numbers of deaths that the Kremlin has blamed on vaccine hesitancy. Now, Germany, along with 11 other European countries, urged Israel on Thursday to reverse its decision to advance plans to construct around 3,000 settlement units in the West Bank. In a joint statement by the foreign ministries of Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Spain and Sweden, the country said they opposed settlement expansion across the West Bank. Israel moved forward on Wednesday with plans to build some 3,000 homes for Jewish settlers in the West Bank, defying the strongest criticism to date of such projects from the administration, a U.S. President Joe Biden. Now, top Chinese diplomat Yang Jiechi met North Korea's ambassador to China on Thursday and expressed Beijing's willingness to maintain high-level interactions and strengthen uh, strategic coordination. China's foreign ministry said both sides exchanged views on the Korean Peninsula and other issues of uh, common concern. The ministry said in a statement, without giving details, China is neighboring uh, North Korea's sole major ally and has played a leading role in efforts to press the isolated country to dismantle its nuclear program. North Korea has persisted with military development, including a recent missile test, despite international sanctions over its nuclear weapons and missile programs.